Welcome back to the Tag Team Hanger. This is Mike. I'm coming at you with the weekly news and review for March 26, 2023, 2023. Of course, we've got Transformers news, a little bit of Masterpiece, a bit of Legends, and a bit of Mainline. There's been a lot of stuff this past week, technically this past week, going on with Masters of the Universe. I made a whole video about it, but I've got a couple of things that, well, information that wasn't available at the time that we will talk about. There's pre-orders up for yet another Gargoyle. We'll talk about that. Ramen Toy's been very busy with a lot of fun pictures. We'll take a look at a few. And there are three things going on in Star Wars this week, so we'll talk about all of them. Coming up! Starting out, what's going on at Show-Z? Some deals over there. Fourth Party Masterpiece MP20 Wheeljack for $37.99. This slipped my radar. I didn't even know they had this one in. Now it's already on sale for a couple bucks off. But this is based off of the first design. This is not the Plus version, which kind of makes me think there never was a KO over the Plus versions of these ever. Also, they have the YOLO Park Bumblebee Movie model kit for an Optimus Prime, and it is made of metal ABS plastic. It's 12 inches tall, comes with a figure, energy axe, and a rifle, cannot transform. And this is that yellow part that's making that huge $2,400 one, that massive, very expensive high-end one. This is 150 bucks though, to get it in 12-inch form, but not quite as many frills, and it's a model kit. And an uh, even bigger sell on the Yes Model Guardia Defensor Combiner set for 150 15 inch tall combiner 150 if you're in on this scale for combiners not a bad price for the entire 15 inch combiner 150 speaking of masterpiece ish model kits we have this flame toys shockwave up for pre-order right now they said it went up on the 25th so this Shockwave does look pretty cool. It is a bit stylized. It's, it does what Flame Toys does. I feel like I haven't talked about Flame Toys in a long time. And then here they are with their Shockwave up for pre-order. So that's pretty cool. Information over at BBTS. It says it's 6.3 inches tall. Made of plastic based on the Transformers franchise. Fully articulated. Once complete. Highly detailed. No glue required. So there it goes. If you're into it. Available a lot of places including BBTS. Lewin Resources put out pictures of their almost four foot tall metroplex that they're making but this is just the head so you just get the tip there it's pretty nice looking head overall you can tell it's metroplex it's a bit of a stylized take on a metroplex and it's gonna be huge it's gonna be big that's a roll of packing tape that it's kind of leaning up next to or again so you get the perspective on that also here he is with with ones with the visor ones without the visor well, let's take a look at just the face. There's just the face. So, this uh, appears to be, what, 3D printed maybe? Well, anyway, it's still very rough. Early stages, but kind of exciting that it's moving along. Trans Art is showcasing their BWM08 Metal Queen Spider. And it comes along looking pretty good. I'm not sure if this thing is released or if it's about to release. But it does look really good and... I do like what Trans Art does. I did review their Rat Trap. I like the way it looks. And I look forward to getting more of those figures from that company. Kind of feel sad that I missed out on a few of the ones that they made in the past. Just because I wasn't really sure. But now I'm sure. And so this looks pretty good. I'm personally happy with uh, Black Arachnia. But I'm not sure is this a different character. Or is it just Black Arachnia repainted. Anyhow, still looks pretty cool. The 3-0 Voltron is starting to ship at places. I know that Shozi is getting theirs in stock. Mine has not shipped yet. So that's the whole process there. But I look forward to taking a look at this. I did do a video Friday talking a lot about this and a lot of the other 3-0 products that are out there. But uh, pretty exciting overall, especially for Voltron fans and Voltron fans who want a premium figure that's it's $300. It's premium in a way and it copies a lot of Blitzway in a way, really will be interesting to get it in hand and see the differences. So if you're curious kind of what these figures look like, the Astro Bots, this is Athena, and then there's another one in there for comparison. This is a picture posted by Hard Return, does great art and looks fantastic. So this, I wasn't sure about this line, but these pictures make me kind of want to dabble in this line. So 
So I'm kind of interested in these Astrobots. And if you are too, check them out. Okay, so we have another subscription figure that's up for uh, for sale here. This is the build up figure by Fan Home, and it is the Transformers 2007 Optimus Prime subscription figure, 23 inches tall. It is composed of meticulously detailed metal and ABS plastic parts. And so, just like the other one we looked at last week, you're going to be getting parts in periodically and paying for it and all that kind of stuff. I don't have all of the details on price and all that kind of stuff, but but it's one of those things that it seems like it's going to be a new trend. A new trend that you spend like 80 to 150 a month and get some parts and build it up and build it. What do you guys think about this model and how they do this to get more expensive figures more affordably over time and build it yourself? So we've got yet another repaint of the Masterpiece MP53. This is the Plus B Dia Burnout. Is Dia Clone Burnout? So again, this mold looks really good. I actually have one of these figures. I don't even remember which one. I got one. I need to do something with it. But uh, I picked up one just to check out the mold, and I haven't done it yet. But it does look pretty good. Looks pretty solid, and we've seen this before. This is the rainbow figures that are out there i think the red one looks the coolest they do look pretty cool pretty interesting and I, I just know i didn't want the blue one because i already had the blue one with x transbots and here it is in its alt mode and yeah looks pretty good pretty much what you expect overall with this mold okay so there's this picture floating around for metagate and i'm guessing it's going to be another one of their figures like this, the MGM-02 Ming Zheng. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with it or what to expect or even how to dig too deep into this. But it looks pretty cool that it's going to look pretty much like their, their 01 probably. Or maybe it's completely different. Who knows? But there's a nice little teaser, te teaser for Metagate. Metagate also posted some pictures of what appears to be a Bumblebee movie style-ish. If, if I'm right, Bumblebee movie style-ish. Legends Optimus Prime, so that's something kind of cool they're getting into. Somehow I forgot they were doing this, but it does look pretty interesting overall. If this is something that you're in for, an aesthetic that you like and you're looking forward to, you might want to check them out. Their pre-orders are up for this, but this is the actual figure and not just renders. So there's the alt mode. Looks a little bit um, gappy, I guess you could say, or maybe kibbly would be the best word but the bot mode looks pretty much like what it's supposed to, so overall, not a bad attempt at a Legends Optimus Prime Bumblebee. In other Legends news, there's going to be a... So I think this is a KO, and it's called the Advance Bravely uh, Gapton Gorilla, like Captain Gorilla, but Gapton Gorilla. So this is going to be the Optimal Optimus, and uh, this is already... The official one's already been made and sold out. Now it's hard to get and expensive and all that stuff. So a KO company steps in. I don't know size, specs, and all that good stuff, but uh, it'll be interesting to find out uh, when this comes up for pre-order and all that kind of stuff. It looks like it's pretty close to done, and I might want to check it out. Currently, I think the only place showing it for sale is the Taobao store. I'm a little nervous ordering from Taobao. I just never have. And I know some people love the Rising Force and some are tired of hearing about it, but they keep putting out pictures and these are actual figures, actual product. So they're finally showing their how in actual product form, not renders. And so this is their Motor Master, but they're also showing it with the whole team, which I think is the most important part, of course, getting to see the whole team. So uh, they're, they're looking okay. Not, not bad, in my opinion. It looks like a definite solid option. And I think they did an even better job in the alt mode. So alt modes look pretty good too. And it's really important they look good in alt mode because alt mode equals combined mode, if you know what I mean. So, so it's going to be a pretty solid set, I hope. I hope it turns out to be a good set and it's, it's a welcome addition to the community. So Iron Factory is showing pictures of their IFEX65 Resolute Defender. This is Brawn and... I, I'm just going to say, I think that a lot of their designs are looking more G1-esque and less stylized. This is still stylized, by the way, still going along with what they've done, but 
it just I got the feeling back when they made their power glide that they were starting to shift a little bit but maybe that's just me anyhow there's the bot mode here's the alt mode which looks again even more like they're shifting closer to G1 and less stylized but that might not be the case it might just be wishful thinking on my behalf I think this figure looks pretty all right Dr. Wu is recoloring their energy dragon I can't remember what last week's recolor was and I'm not joking I, I just forgot to put it in the picture there was a recolor last week and there's two clear recolors this week they've got the pink one which I, I think looks quite interesting because it's so light especially if you hit it with light and then there's a blue one so you got the boy dragon a girl dragon in clear <laughs> in clear uh, form and so that's kind of fun if you light that up hit it with light it'd be pretty cool and just for fun let's see what the clear base mode looks like and that's what the clear base mode looks like I think it's interesting I do you know I do like translucent 80s toys like the Tron figures like Chris star more of that to come Magic Square is showing off their gold repaint of their intelligence officer for the Golden Lagoon. And this Bumblebee right here looks pretty cool. Bumblebee is in his alt mode there and his bot mode there. So I think it's a pretty solid figure overall. And I like what they did with Bumblebee and Cliffjumper. And now getting it in gold. I don't know if I'm going that far, but I think it will be good to have an entire cast and crew. In Golden Lagoon, be kind of cool. Oh, back to Doctor Wu again. Okay, so they've got their cone heads with uh, pro Propel, Elegy, and Turbo. Is that how I say all that? Anyhow, these are tiny. This isn't even Legends. I'm putting it in Legends. It's not even supposed to be Legends. It's Sub Legends. It's. I wonder if these are so small that they. No, they're not that small. Fit in with the MP57 Skyfire figures or the X Transbots Jansen figures. Those little mini figs that came with them. I think they're still bigger than that, but they still look pretty good for how microscopic they are. They look really good. And here's the alt mode. As you all know, these cone heads all have slightly different varying alt modes. There's no picture of all three. We're just gonna look at this one and, and move on. There's a lot to look at. Okay, getting into some mainline news. Hasbro has announced or shown images of this Transformers Legacy Evolution War Dawn Dion and Ariel. Dion, Dion, however you want to say it. I do want to say that uh, Rodimus Primal the on YouTube, he actually put this figure out in the front of everyone, or this character more or less, with his video talking about who is Dion. And it's a pretty interesting video right there, and I kind of really enjoyed uh, all that history on that. But with this, this uh, is an interesting repaint, I would have to say, of Cup and RC, and Cup and a different version of RC. But they do look pretty good and a pretty good reuse of the mole. Here's the alt mode so you can see what's going on right there. And so that looks interesting. Nice motorcycle we have going on. And of course the cup mold. This mold has been reused quite a few times for, for this. And didn't they get a movie version? Then a Ryan Pax. Now we're getting a Dion out of this. So pretty interesting, pretty cool. And we also get to see the packaging. I'm not really sure I'm in on this so much, but that Orion Pax and the Alpha Trion 2-pack, that was a really good set. This seems to be right up that same alley. So this is a fan-exclusive Optimus Prime. You get a first look at it. It is a repaint of the Holiday Prime. So this is a case of you get the variant first in the Holiday Prime, and this is what it should have been, which is we were all trying to guess which figure did they remold, and it was a pre-mold more or less a pre-recolor and so there it is looks pretty cool looks pretty good that trailer looks pretty good too so overall uh is that a reuse of the earthrise trailer i mean i'm not sure but we'll probably find out eventually looks overall pretty good if you're in on this so we got pictures of rise of the beast alliance combiners three packs anyhow these are kind of kitty toys Whoever thought toys would be for kids, but this is what they look like in hand. This is what they look like in their alt mode once they're transformed. I figure they'd be real easy to transform and not, throw scale out of the window, by the way. So then I guess, I guess what you do is you take these three and then you convert them, semi-transform them, so that you can... 
put them on top of these, I guess. Uh, yeah, you get that. So, it's cool playability, you gotta remember. Fun playability stuff. Would we have liked this 40 years ago? So, there's a appears to be a few things showing up uh, legacy evolution wave five sighted and so here is that prowl if you're interested maybe go out there and take a look this one was found at a gamestop in a florida mall and somebody got a hold of a box uh, autobot medics only showed the back so i guess this is another seems like a lot of product shots based off of packaging lately well that's you can't see inside it you just or you can see that little bitty window, and that's about it. But anyway, there it goes. Uh, I'm I'm hearing I'm hearing through the grapevine that that Hasbro is going to reverse course 100% on the plastic free very soon, but I haven't seen actual statements about that yet. There's a lot of pictures to speak of the new Transformers Rise of the Beast official character art, and I have to say the art looks fantastic. I think these look great. I'm not going to go through each one at a time. But what I do want to say out of all of them is I think Optimus Prime looks awesome. He looks the best out of all of these, in my opinion. In my opinion. Which one do you like the most? So there are some rumor, lick, exclusive Transformers, rumors, or a leak list, but no actual names on it. They just say they're e-com, SDCC exclusives, and DTC and all this kind of stuff. And there's an Amazon exclusive. But what really gets me this is a Voyager scale nacelle, which nacelle is actually a toy company. I don't know if it's related to that. But they're a media and a toy company and all that kind of stuff. And are they going to get into Transformers too? Is this going to be some sort of uh, just a coincidence? I don't know. But there's a whole lot of leaks that have not been deciphered yet. So obviously a lot more to come. Shifting into some other news, we have Ramen Toy with their Maverick figure. And I gotta tell you, this looks fantastic. And I was thinking, why would I want a figure from this franchise? But I've gotta tell you, when you nail a sculpt, uh, it's kind of hard to say no. It's really hard to say no. That looks fantastic. Looks like so much detail, a lot of work and effort put into making this figure look amazing. So I'm really impressed, really surprised. I don't know how deep's gonna be. Uh, are we gonna get a goose or whatever? <laughs> and here it is compared to another figure they're working on. Uh, the sculptor of this was Glowing Ghost Toys. I don't know exactly what they're going to name this figure, but that looks really cool. Uh, this this is a very interesting representation that probably would fit inside of some sort of a Dodge Charger looking vehicle. And here's an update on what they're now calling the Ramen Racer. So it's no longer the Happy Halloween 2022. It is the Ramen Racer, I, I'm i guessing. Featuring rims and grill of uh, Tiger Orange and uh, Ramen Racer. I also saw this, what it could look like if it was painted orange. Could you picture this painted orange? Anyway, interchangeable parts, all that good stuff so that you can customize it and swap it out to your liking looks like this project's coming along really well it's going to be 175 dollars for the early bird pre-order price i think around 225 or something 250 around that price range if you wait for it to come out here it is assembled and all of that good stuff and so it is going to be almost 20 inches long and yeah looking pretty good overall and then Let's see what an assembled orange version looks like. That's what an orange version could look like. Wow. Bo. This is really a good looking vehicle. Overall, looks very familiar. Somehow. Something tells me the doors don't open on this version, though. Just kidding. Just kidding. Alright, so Mattel just slapped 30-something pre-orders on us and... And I was saying I don't want them to all come at one time. I did make a whole video about this. I went through all of them, more or less, and gave you my thoughts on them. And then went into my discussion of why I think this could be a last-ditch effort at the end. Like a last gasp of air, trying to squeeze out. And you know what? In the comments, I got a lot of that kind of information in the comments, too. A lot of people were saying stuff along the lines of, 
that if they can get it announced before they lose the license, they can still make it, and that would make sense. Nobody really knows what's going on. And another good point that somebody brought up is that if Mattel is truly ending it, and they were the ones that came out and made these announcements and did the live streams and had to answer the questions on the spot about this, is it over? Is there anything past this? Because this is pretty much what we've been hearing about. All tied up in a bow and sent out. And Slammer is already starting to show up at BBTS and some other ones. Snake Tila. Because those are processing in my account. So I'm wondering how many of these are already on the way. We did get some pictures of Dragon Blaster, Skeletor, and Snake Face carded. Meaning that these are in the works. These are on the way. These are not like way, way far out. Although they spread it out. They call this the fall calendar and all this kind of stuff. This stuff is on its way. So it may come before fall. may come way earlier. Get real expensive. But then I start to wonder, is this last wave syndrome where they're produced in small quantities? Or is this going to be a blitz of stuff that we see on clearance for the next two years? Who knows? Who knows? I pre-ordered one of everything... Oh, a few of the slammer eyes and then if I can find another one on clearance to open down the road I'll do that okay so gargoyles from NECA this is the ultimate Angela 7 inch scale action figure and she comes with an egg and this little gargoyle coming out of the egg and the face and all this kind of stuff I want to say that I pre-ordered her right away just so I can make sure I have her because I felt like I was chasing down the last one Hamilton or something I was chasing down one of them for way too long. It was way too much effort to get that guy. And so I don't want to have to chase her. So I think she looks good. I like the way Demona looks. I like the way she looks. But uh, I've only opened up one of these. And I'm leaving the rest in the package. But I do think they look really good. And I think they're still a decent value at 40 bucks, Even though almost all the rest of them until this year I bought for 30 or less. So it's a little frustrating with the price increase, but they're big and they have a lot going on. So I still think they're worth 40 bucks. So this figure caught my eye. I don't usually talk about Marvel so much, but this one is Apocalypse, seven inch scale, but he's eight and a half inches tall. He's 30 bucks for a big beefy figure. And I think that's pretty cool. I mean, Diamond Select's probably not the best of quality on figures because I have a few of their figures and there's not a lot of articulation to him, but this looks like it might be up there in the articulation department. A little bit better than what they did with the Tron figures. The Tron figures look great, but do not have much articulation and not very stable. But this dude's a big, beefy dude. Looks pretty cool. Maybe something you don't want to pass on, you don't want to sleep on. Okay, over at TNI News, good old JC over there talking about some G.I. Joe classified rumors that JT Prime has uncovered. And, well, these are listings in the Walmart computer. And I'll just real quick, says Captain Caveman. These are code names. Dastardly Buttercup, Velma, uh, Scrappy, Smurfette, Papa, Gargamel, Blossom, Shaggy, Scooby, Tom, and Jerry. And the thing is, three of them are mentioned as retro. Smurfette, Papa, and Gargamel. And I'm wondering, does this mean we're getting three more retros? Or is that just three of the retros we haven't gotten yet uh that haven't appeared yet i don't know i don't know anything about all that but it's always fun to know there's stuff on the way stuff coming down the pipeline but this could be stuff that hasn't been announced yet or this could be stuff we've already heard about okay so we've got some issues with uh funko basically gutting mando they are literally mondo mondo mando mondo they're gutting the Mondo toys. These are the ones that make these 12-inch, you know, $300, $275, um, Motu, He-Man, uh, She-Ra. They've got a $500 Battle Cat on the way. Uh, they've got uh, Trap Jaw. So they've got a lot of stuff going on right now, but they're basically gut gutting it. They're getting rid of the poster division. They're laying off people. And the thing is, is that Funko itself's in trouble. And I think the bubble has burst on the Pops. The bubble has popped on the pops. That's the way it looks with every pop that I've bumped into in the past two weeks has been on clearance. So I haven't bumped into a new one that's full price at all. And so that's kind of scary for Funko. And I don't want to see anything bad happen to Funko. And I definitely don't want to see anything bad happen to Mondo. 
Now, I first heard about this from Mad Hatter Toys Review, Mad Hatter's Reviews, and he's the one that went deep into this because he is kind of a Funko guy and he's into the Motu and all that kind of stuff. Deep into the Motu. And I have to say that Funko itself could be a great toy company if they wanted to, but they didn't. And I think that they've limited their options and now they're cutting their options to almost nothing by gutting the most profitable branch that they've got. Anyway, uh, really sucks. I, it makes me think Funko might not make it another year. Okay, so we've got some pre-orders up for uh, Luke Skywalker and Grogu. And this this thing is... I, I, what's the price on this? This is ridiculously expensive. Uh, this figure here, this two-pack. It's 45 bucks. For a $23 figure and a $10 figure and a couple of accessories to make it $45. Bucks. So that's crazy. But yeah, that's something else. But anyhow, uh, I just got the Ned 9 or whatever. They want $30 something dollars for that. And I picked that thing up for, I think, $13. Ahsoka's $13 right now. All of this stuff is going on clearance. I, I literally passed on all of the Black Series and only pick it up on clearance. Unless I did buy the retro carded stuff for full price, $25, because that's what I want. But for this stuff that I, I don't want, if I see it for $13, I'll buy it for $13. $45, I'll leave it alone. Cad Bane in the... Is this the vintage collection here? This looks pretty good overall. I like this. Uh, I've, I've always thought this was a pretty interesting character. And now this is the one that was from the Book of Boba Fett. And he seems to be like a little older version of Cad Bane, more or less. But I do think this is a pretty good figure, pretty good character. I know the Black Series one is still a hard one to get, even though it was reissued. So Mafex is making a Bokatan craze by Medicom. This is from The Mandalorian. And this is for people who are really deep into the Mandalorian or the Star Wars realm and they they're not happy with the $23 one that was put out by Hasbro and they want something more higher end and more accessories and maybe more posability and stuff more high end this thing is $100 if you somehow get it through an an overseas price of $91 transfer transferred over all the stuff from yen to US but US retailers are going to charge 120 so this goes into price versus value, which is an entire video discussion that I really need to make because I can prove that some people feel like this is worth well over $100, while others do not. But that's a large discussion to be had. Well, so I guess that's it for now. I'm curious what else is going on out there that you guys are seeing. What did I miss in the news? Like and subscribe. Teddy Ramirez out.